everybody? How you all doing? Kono Pro here. Coming at you with a cool little project. We're going to be actually applying an eraser board, a paint on eraser board right here. It's going to be five feet long by four feet tall. Okay, this is what we got. Sleeve. Okay, quarter inch nap that actually comes with this kit. I always recommend to use the stuff that comes with the kit. All right. Then, what we got, let's go ahead and rip that puppy off. This is, uh, um, you can, uh, you can post this after you're done with the date that it's, it got applied. That way you know seven days after this date of the application that this will be cure in seven days. Oh yeah. Okay. We'll put that right off to the side here. Here's that roller sleeve. This is a roller handle, standard roller handle. That's how you pop that on there. Okay, roller screen, the five gallon bucket. Set that off to the side for a second. Got our product here, five and one tool to open the product. Here is a bristle brush. This brush is a professional grade brush. You know, I've been using it for a long time. That's why it's nice and used. But I like the taper edge. This is um, really nice for doing clean edges and stuff like that. For water-based paints only. Carpenter's pencil, measuring tape. This is a tape machine for masking, for installing paper, masking like that. All right, some two-inch masking tape. This blue tape is what you want to use. This blue tape, when you're putting tape onto paint, painted walls, because then when you remove it, it won't rip the paint and it allows you to have a clean edge too when you're painting. If you use any other color paint, sometimes when you remove the paint, it can rip the existing paint right off the wall, which is no fun, no fun, okay? Don't forget the rag, of course the gloves that I have on my hand, four foot level, gonna need that. Okay, what else? I got a respirator on, okay? I have a mass respirator on that is designed for um, doing this kind of product here. All right, everybody, let's rock and roll. First thing we're gonna do is basically what we have going on here is we're gonna be putting on the eraser board here and it's gonna be, like I said, five foot by four foot. And the reason being is you see this conference room here? Beautiful conference room. They're gonna be doing Skype interviews and stuff like that. So we wanna put an eraser board here and they're gonna have their company logo above here, which I'm gonna have my artists come in and install the company logo, but we'll do that on there. If I don't show that on this video, we'll do one in the future. All right, everybody. Things have to line up perfect with my artist and me to get all that lined up. But today we're focusing on the eraser board. Let's rock. So what we wanna do is we wanna mark center of this table because that's where everyone's gonna be sitting. They're gonna be filming from there. The camera's gonna be positioned there. So we need to be center of this table here and project our eraser board onto this wall, all right? So by doing that, what we'll do, we'll find out where center of this, this is 36 inches, see, 36 inches. So that means 18 inches is right there. I don't wanna mark this table, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave my pencil right there on the 18 inch line, all right? Then I'm gonna run it to the wall, okay? My measurement is 79 and a half, you see that? So then, take my pencil back, I'm gonna go ahead and go from the wall there, and mark over here, Let's see where we're at, yeah. Let's see, 79 and a half, okay? That's gonna be center of that table, all right? And let's go get our height. Get our height. Okay, I got about off the carpet edge here, about 28 and a half. So we'll go ahead and rock that at 28 and a half off the carpet edge. I'm gonna go here about 28 and a half. You know, let's we'll bring it up to about 29. Just give it a little bit, tiny bit higher than the table, just a tiny bit. Not enough to you be able to notice when they're recording, but just enough. Okay, so that's our bottom mark there, 29. And this is our mark from the wall center. Okay, the center mark. So, it's gonna be five foot long. So what we're gonna do is our center mark here, is we're gonna cut that in half. So you cut five foot in half, and we have two foot six inches, which is 30 inches, right? Because five foot is six, 60 inches. 
So five foot is 60 inches, then half of that would be 30. I have it upside down, but, so there's my center inch at 30. Go out to my end, mark that edge there. Then I can make sure it stays on 30. Go out here and mark my 60 inch. Okay, that's gonna be my outer left side of the board. And this is gonna be my outer right side of the board. And this is my bottom part of the board. So now, take my level. Make sure I put this flat edge up and the bubble down. When I look at my bubble, so it's level. Bubble until it is level. Alright, we got the level. Bam. Okay, I'm gonna draw this line. I'm not gonna draw it too strong. I'm just gonna do it nice and light. Nice and light. You don't want a dark line around your eraser board. After you're done, okay, I'm going to take this and transfer this level line all the way over to our outside edge. Okay, there's our outside line right here. Okay. And transfer this over here. edge of a racer board. Let's rock the right side. Remember I said it's going to be four foot, right? Four foot tall. So this level is a four foot level. You see that? So I'll just go ahead and take this level, set it at the bottom. Make sure that's at the bottom of my line. Boom. Make sure that's right there. And I'll level it over. Keeping in mind that I still have the bottom where I want it. That on there. That right there. I like that. It's level there. Let's verify it's level up here. Perfect. I'm going to draw this line now. It's four foot tall, so we know it's going to go right up to the top of this. We can line up there. See that? Bam! There's a top line now. Let's charge for this line over.
take this tape, put it underneath your boot like that, or shoe, pull it out like this, take the roller, and go like this. See that? And go up, because you're dispersing hairs on there, so you wanna go up so you can get new sticky material to remove the hairs on there. You see how we can, you see how that is? All right. If you look closely, which I don't know if the camera's picking it up, you see all those hairs on there? All over, I mean, there's hairs all over it. All over it. And if you don't do that, then you're gonna get hairs on your product. You'll see after it dries, there'll be little hairs on the products. I'm gonna do it twice, because this is like a two-part paint, and we don't want, it might be real tacky and sticky. If so, it'll pull the hairs out even more. You wanna make sure you get all the loose stuff, okay? I've seen other painters, you know, do this technique. Oh, yeah, that technique. Dropping everything. All right, here we go, look. I've seen other painters do this technique where they go like this, and they do this whole thing, which is cool too. It works, all right? They wrap the whole thing in tape like this, and then when they're done, they take it like this, and that also defuzzes it, okay? All right, that's defuzz and ready to rock. I can set that right there like that.
So we went ahead and applied a second coat already on this. We followed the same steps that I went over with you earlier. And um, here we are. It's almost completely dry to the touch, okay? It takes one hour to dry to the touch, but it takes seven days to properly cure before you can actually use the board, okay? And then once those seven days are up, you need to follow the instructions carefully on that kit and that'll tell you exactly how to break the board in, okay, and what cleaner to use, and what markers to use, because they're very, you know, very s specific and detailed on what they want you to use for this board, or it won't work, okay? So now we're gonna finish this off. We're basically just gonna remove the tape in the mask. We'll go ahead and start by taking off all this right here, and take it right off. Should just peel right off. Okay. It's still a little wet, still a little tacky. Now just a real quick, another little tip. If you wanna come and check and see and make sure and see if this is dry yet or not, you can touch here. Don't touch here because if that's wet, you might leave a, leave a fingerprint, you might mess up your product. So if you touch here where the tape is, if you mess that up, it doesn't matter. It's still just a little tacky, okay? Now, there's a couple ways you can do this. You can slice it with the box cutter, razor blade, another good tool to have on this. And then you give it just a little slice, just like that, all around the edge, okay? Or you can attempt to start to peel it because it's not completely cured yet. It should just peel with a clean line, okay? So what I like to do is cut, slice that like that, open this up, and start pulling it. See how clean that is? away from it. You don't pull up and towards it because that'll cause it to tear. You pull down and at an angle. Okay, and then you continue to pull your tape. See how clean that line is? That's because we pressed down that, that edge really firmly when we applied the tape. Okay, go ahead and take that right off. Go, you wanna go nice, nice pace, because if you do see that it starts to bubble and pull and peel, then you're gonna need to take your razor blade. That's why I have it out and ready and still open, and you'll have to slice that edge so it won't peel your brand new, beautiful eraser board. Okay. A lot of times people will put the molding on there, and if that edge gets a little messed up, it's no big deal, because they'll put the molding but this board is not having the molding going on it. So we'll have to clean that up with a rag and maybe touch it up with some paint, but it's no problem. Okay. See how nice that, you can see the flat wall and then the new eraser board sheen, how glossy it is. Okay. That's looking really, really good. Now we'll go through, make sure everything looks good, the edges look good, everything looks great. Take this off. Now I paint, we painted this, um, my company painted this a couple weeks ago. And so this paint is an enamel paint, a flat base enamel paint. So it's, it's pretty wipeable. But if not, what I can do is go to the hardware store and match it, because I am the one who had it put on in the first place and know exactly what product it is. But if you see, that's why when we draw these lines, you try to draw them real light. This one got a little teeny dark, but it's fine. I can touch it up, I have a little bit of paint. Like that. Clean it up here, a level line. Make sure your rag has a little bit of water on it, just a teeny bit, okay? And you wanna let the water do the work. You don't wanna press too hard, because then you can 
rip the paint. Okay. I think we're almost there, everybody. Just to... I know this video is a little long, but, uh, you know, I'm trying to show you everybody a couple little cool little tips. And to do that, I'll show you the right way. This is how we do it. Alright, it's looking really nice. See how I'm holding it when I clean that top edge? I'm holding the rag away. You don't want it to fall and hit your, your beautiful product, which still is a teeny bit tacky and wet. Tacky means that it's sticky. It's still a little wet and it can get hurt. Alright, I'm loving this. I hope you all are loving it. There it is. Look at that. Bam. See how nice the sheen is from the flat to the eraser board? Once the logo's up there, it'll be perfect. I'll go ahead and fill this out for the date today. Tape to this to the wall right here. Put the date in seven days, it'll be cured, and they can cure the board by following the process. All right, everyone, Th hope you loved the video. Please subscribe, um, give us some comments. Give us some thumbs up if you liked the video. We appreciate it, everybody. Kono Pro.